goes for the sweep, a stand-up sweep, and it's been given. Wicket's tumbling here for the strikers. They've got the three big ones, Healy, Perry, and now Gardner. Well, as Aaron was saying, the run rate is starting to climb, and the pressure is on the Sixers batters to stay in this game. Big shot there, sweeping across the line where Barsby often targets that front pad. She's been really successful for the strikers so far in this tournament. Coming off a very tidy one for 16 off four overs in her last match. And as you see, that arm ball just carrying on to the middle stump. Ash Gardner with a quick look up to Susie Bates. I think she's thinking, can we go upstairs? No, you can't today, Ash. Only in 24 games of the WVBL. Picked the wrong length, I think, to sweep. And got herself caught up around that front pad. So Gardner departs. And it brings Erin Burns to the crease. Had a cracking start to her WBBL with that magnificent partnership with Perry in game one. Slow, complete pace off. She hasn't got all of this one, and that is taken. Another twist in the tail here at Karen Walton Oval. A brilliant innings comes to an end. Erin Burns getting the Sixers so close to victory, but has fallen to Barsby for a brilliant 71 from 38 deliveries. What an outstanding knock by Erin Burns. Sixers were all and all out of this game, and she's come in, she's shifted momentum single-handedly. She'll be a little bit upset by that. That was a, a loose delivery by Barge. You could tell that the pressure was getting to it. It was slow, it was a full toss. Unfortunately, it's been all about her undoing. Well, it was very lucky, really, for Barsby to pick up a wicket off that ball. But what was impressive was how brave she was to take all the pace she could off that delivery. And maybe that just did all the difference and created the miss hit. Burns is devastated not to have hit the winning runs. Now we see the young Ange Jenford having to come to the crease. And uh, the new rules in that... The new batter will have to take strike, even if the, the batter's at the crease crossed. Yep, wonderful rule to come into the game, I think. Ange Jenford's probably not thinking that at the moment. So, new into the competition. Deep breaths from Barsby at the top of her mark. Jenford will be doing the same. Four from two needed. and a magical win for the Adelaide Strikers. They get their name on the board in terms of points. They've got a win over the team, over the Sixers, who have gone three from three. And devastation for Erin Burns and the Sixers, who got so close, having needed 41 from 18 before the power surge, found themselves back in the hunt for the win. But they kept their nerve, particularly that player there on screen in Gemma Barsby. What a match. And we've come to expect that from WBBL games at Karen Rolton Oval. Uh, we saw that wonderful 180-odd... Uh,